Texas is on high alert right now. I guess they always are, given what's going on. But you got this new caravan of thousands from South America making its way right to our border. Look at that. So, Sheriff, you know, without any further help in the Biden administration, how does local law enforcement with Border Patrol and the Texas National Guard deal with something like this, especially if they get you know, violent? And to, well, and to be honest, we've been dealing with this and continue to deal with this daily. So when we talk about caravans coming up, look, the, the average is still over 5,000 apprehensions a day. So, you know, we're seeing you know, maybe two caravans a day arriving at our borders. But, but we continue to uh, to work together, whether it's the state um, law enforcement, which is Department of Public Safety, Texas Parks and Wildlife, or Texas Military Forces, combined with uh, our local law enforcement, the Sheriff's Office, and then with U.S. Border Patrol. Look, it takes all three of us to work together to, to accomplish this. But if I could just touch real quick on that question for Chuck, look, if we could take the handcuffs off Border Patrol and allow them to start putting handcuffs on other people and to get around this new judge's order. Look, you have other people that have the same authorities as U.S. Border Patrol. You have CIS, which is Citizen and Immigration Services, and you have ICE, Immigration and Customs Enforcement. You can take the men and women that have those same authorities, have them process and care for kids, and put Border Patrol agents back out on the line. That's how we do it. Uh, exactly right. What do you instruct your deputies to do when it, when it comes to illegal aliens, especially breaking the law, even if it's trespassing? How handcuffed are you guys from actually doing your job? Hey, hey we're not handcuffed whatsoever. Okay. And uh, and we're not changing our enforcement strategy. And, and further, here in Terrell County, we don't have a crime problem. What we have is a border security problem. And again, we're the 10th largest county in the state of Texas, but we only have 800 residents. And, and this is a community I grew up in. It's a great place to live. And again, just no crime. We have 54 miles of river with Mexico. But again, I just want to touch on, on Chuck's question because he answered it right. Look, the president's playing politics rather than national security. And to that point specifically, the president would rather fight our governor, Governor Abbott, than fight the cartels. And look what we're left with. Yep. Sheriff Thaddeus Cleveland.